Oh, hi everyone. Sandra from Scraps of Beauty, and it is Sunday night. And just one second, I have to uh, pull my chat out here for a second. Uh, there we go. This is, I have to get used to the new uh, the new chat format here on Ustream. So if you're watching over on YouTube, this is a live show over on Ustream.tv, where I am talking to people. So. Um, Tonight we're going to do some alcohol inks. I've got some new stamps to show. And, oh, you got a lot of good freebies. Joan went to her craft show, and she's all excited. <laughs> all right, so here are the new Carabao stamps. You love Finn? I do, too. I can't wait to go for her class. Um... So if you're not if you're watching on YouTube, you're not interested in the haul. Fast forward about 10 minutes, and then we should get into the project. So, um, so here's the uh, one of the new ones. This one is just a big flourish. So you can see that I fixed my lighting, so it's much better now, isn't it? It's big. You can see my hand here, right? It's almost as big as my hand. Pretty big. <laughs> so there's that one. I love that one. And then um, this one is, this, I, their names are all in French, so it's hard. Texture in my journal. Texture in my journal. Can you see that one? The bubbles? You like the bubbles? Yeah. What is that? I can't remember if I showed this one or not before. This is Frenzies, Frenzy, but it's a good ocean-like background, I think. The lights are good. Thanks. Yeah, much better than what I had. I had just those little hot lights before, so it's much better now. <laughs> you want the textured one? <laughs> of course. What is this? And this one, of course, is, well, it's called Zonk, or Zonk to something or other ocean, but <laughs> the mermaid. <laughs> so, yeah. Isn't it cute? And the fish. I like the fish. <laughs> Sorry, Ange. <laughs> I sent you happy mail though, but it's not the stamp. <laughs> then all of these look like sand dollars, and this one's called Flower Circles. So there's that one. The skinny stamp, yeah. Oh, the bubbles. This is the one Eileen likes. Yep, and it's called the Bubbles. I like that one. Then, of course, this one with the seashell to go with the mermaid one. And this one is called, just says, I don't know, it's in French. I can't read it, but shells. <laughs> yes, I sent you happy mail for all the trouble you've been going through. <laughs> so, and then these are Primas. They came out with, I think, I don't, I want to say six. I didn't get them all, um, but these are what I'll be giving away tonight. Um, this by Christine Adolf, and this one's called Florabella Number One. <laughs> she thinks it's going off to joggles. Yep, you can get a joggle. And I, um, I think that they just got them just recently. This one is Fresh Flowers Number Two. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> and then this one is Daisy May. So don't let me forget, those are the three that I'm going to give away tonight. So I have to go and get them out so I don't forget. Oh, you see my, um, <laughs> my beauty secrets? I have them on tonight, Bunny. So thanks to Lynn. Is Lynn here? Because she sent the uh, stamps for Happy Mail. So I'm going to send those out tonight. So remind me. So that's that. And then this one, of course, is... Um, from Helen Hudson. This is the Mermaid uh, Mermaid Tales. And the, the die was already sold out, so I just got the stamp, so I have to call. <laughs> you saw him? Oh, darn it. I have to be careful now because my camera is up higher. <laughs> um, so this is what we're going to work on tonight with some alcohol ink. So I went on her blog, and one of her design team members uh, did some really nice cards with Yupo, of course, I couldn't find my Yupo, so we're just doing it with glossy accents. Um, uh, and so we're going to do that. Oh, I have two more things to show. So I did get, um, you guys seen on Facebook, the um, cupcakes with the mermaid tail. Hi, 
Tammy. So that is the mold. I believe that's the mold to the cupcakes. Isn't it cute? It's really deep, too. Do you see that? It's nice and deep. So I got that. And then I told him my, my husband got me this. So you can see it's my glass. It's pretty small, though. I'll have to say. You see my hand? You don't get very much, much to drink. So you pour the drink in there, your colored drink, and that's what shows the mermaid tail. But they're small. <laughs> but still very cute. <laughs> Alright, so you guys have any questions about the stamps or anything? I did get mine from, um, you know, my Notions order with my girlfriend Debbie, so I have to thank her. I know, I don't have, I can't find my Yupo, so we're just going to do it on glossy. And I needed vellum, and I couldn't find my vellum paper, so we're just going to do it with glossy paper. Probably won't be as good, but still, it'll work. All right, so. I'm going to get my paper out. Bring the paper. <laughs> cute class, right? It is cute. If I could pour something in so you can see the color, but um, it would just spill over. Okay. <sighs> I ran out and get some. I thought about it, but the art store is closed on Sunday here. <laughs> so you'll just have to suffer. When I go to Dick Blick's, um, I'll have to get some vellum and some Yupo when we go to Maryland. Right, so I'm going to do, let's see, we'll do, I think I've cut eight, so we'll do four. I'm trying to think, we have to cut the mermaid's tail out, so we need two of the blue, we'll do two red and yellow kind of ish, and then the other is blue. And I wish I had gloves, because my hands are going to probably be inky as anything. <laughs> and I didn't bring my bottles in the gloves, they're still, oh yeah, I do have it, little bottles in the glove. So this is one Barb recommends over at How to Create. Um, she's on YouTube, and she always um, puts this on before she does it. It's just to help take off the paint and stuff. So, hey, Linda. It just comes off a lot easier. And you know, alcohol ink is messy. Like I did the silver today, and I couldn't, <laughs> I didn't get it off. <laughs> All right, so we're going to make some background cards first. So I think I'm going to do one, two, three. Three of the background cards, and then we'll cut out two of the tails. All right, so what we're going to do is um, take some blending solution. So this is the Adirondack Alcohol Blending Solution. You love the bottles and the glove, the Emmy, too. Oh, let me get these all open, too, because you have to do them kind of quick. So I think I'm going to use, um, this is Stonewash. Stonewash. <coughs> so this one's Indigo uh, Mermaid. Uh, let's see. Blue. I don't have some of the ones that they said. So let's see. This one is Juniper. I don't know what that is. So we'll do those. Four. And then she also did some silver. So I did mix. I tried to mix my gold up. It's all dried up. Can you see it? I spent like 10 minutes trying to, to get it to go. It's no good. Um, let's see. So I did do the silver though. You see how that little ball in there? Alright, so we're going to open these up. So I'm going to use these four. Which one is Mermaid, Indigo, Jennifer and I thought I had sailboat. Yeah, sailboat. Here we go. And then I'm going to do the silver. Let me just open these up. Happy mail. <laughs> Happy mail's the best. Yeah. I sent. What did I send? I sent for Jennifer. And I sent to, um, oh, what that reminds me to. Is Jennifer here? Oh. We were talking about black watercolor paper. Well, I 
we got the link for Amazon, and so we're like, woohoo, black watercolor paper. And it was pretty pricey, so I'm kind of, kind of uh, annoyed about it um, because I'm going to show it to you. This is what they say, call black watercolor paper. I wanted to bring you some, Patty, but there's no sense, really. So you see this, arches? This is supposed to be the black watercolor paper. And you see it there? Looks like it's black, right? Yeah. So I opened up the first sheet. So I'm like, oh, great, look. It's all black. And then you peel it open, and it's not. It's white watercolor paper with black edges. So there is no black watercolor paper. <laughs> I'm so disappointed. And this was pretty, pretty pricey. Oh, sorry, Patty. <clears throat> so, yeah, so if you're looking for the black watercolor um, paper, this is not it. It just means that the edges are um, coated with black. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take, and I don't think this is enough in here, so I got my other bottle too. All right, so what we're gonna do is, oh, I should get some baby wipes. All right, so I'm going to pour this over onto the left side of the paper. And then what you do is you drop in this. Some blue. And then some of this. And then what you're going to do is you're going to swish this around. Oh, I forgot the silver drops. Darn it. Should need some more green, I think. Get it like oceany. I'm gonna have to throw a couple more drops of this here. So there's that one. So that's the first background. Although hers was a lot, a lot better than this, but <laughs> we'll try it again. Like I like this where it's more blended. I think maybe I put too much of the alcohol. Oh, smash two together. Very good, Eileen. Yes. Try that. Oh, it's mostly blue. I like this part with the silver in there. Maybe we can add some more green on this one. Let's see. She did say a little bit of raspberry. Let's see. Always smash, she says. 
All right, well, maybe we'll cut the mermaid's tail out of these two since these just not really what I was going for. <laughs> not really. Why can't I open this one? Let's try some of this. We'll try the raspberry, watermelon, yellow. What is this? Plum. Let me be the orange. All right, let's try it again. Maybe I'll do the, the pink. So, this on there. Oh, I didn't open these. I'll put a couple of drops of the silver. All right, so let's see if that's better. We'll do the mermaid's tail out of these to go against the blue. Let's see what that looks like. Probably need a little bit of pink on here. Yeah, this one like a pretty mermaid's tail. All right, so we have that. Smash and twist. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'll do it on the next one. I'll smash and twist it on the next one. All right, let's try this. I guess I need to cut more of my paper. I'm already like done. I was like, I'm only going to do this many. <laughs> It looks nothing like hers on the blog, I can tell you that. <laughs> All right, twist. Not enough, though. Do I have that? That looks all right for kind of like oceany, but it's not wavy like hers is. I'm gonna have to cut some more. <laughs> Where's my paper? <laughs> I wish I could make yours. Hers look really like a wave. <laughs> so why is that working? Oh, she did do it on Yupo too, so I don't know if that makes a difference. If it's on Yupo. Let's 
this is just some glossy card stock from um, Ranger. Try it again. Oh, sorry. My God, cutting board. I wonder why. Maybe I need to puddle it. Let's see. I finish this one. I'll try it again. too long. It's going to dry up. <laughs> Why did that go? Whose blog was it? Ellen Hudson. It's on her blog. Hey, if you go over there, you see it looks so nice and wavy. <laughs> so it's like, why is that not working? <laughs> That's not the way it's supposed to go. I don't understand. Why not? I mean, I'm doing it like she said. <laughs> there must be a trick to it. Must be. I like that kind of better because I'm going to cut the edges too when it gets to the card. I kind of like that for an ocean. Looks like she may have tilted in one direction for streaks. Yeah, I did. I did do that, but it's just like, I don't know, it's just not, not coming out. This is what she says. She says, so put the blending solution here, then dot your things, and then tilt it this way and this way. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. So why doesn't it look like that? I don't understand. Do it one more time and then I'll just cut the mermaid tails. <laughs> and she said you have to be kind of speedy because you know it dries up really quick. Oh, why doesn't this work now? I don't know why I can't get that work now. So, well, so this is what she says. It's helped it this way, but when you do it, I mean, it's going to fall off the edge. <laughs> I think you need to like, I don't know. The ink going through the paper? Mm, kind of. <laughs> And then that's pretty much it. I mean, it dries so fast, though. Why can't I get this open? I need a, um, a stick. Oh, I need a 
um, oh, what do you call it? A stick. Hold on, I gotta go get a pin. <laughs> paper are you using? Well, remember it's glossy and she used Yupo, so oh, that's why the ball was stuck in the middle. <laughs> Alright, I'll try it again. I'll try one more time. I want to finish this up anyway, so we'll hopefully finish this up. So then this is what she said. But if you do that, see, it's just all, like, stringy. You know what I mean? Well, that's a little better. Maybe I had to go back and forth with it. See, I don't like the holes, though. So did I not put enough? Alright, at least that looks more like wavy. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> looks more like waves right there. And then we'll cut them down. Alright, so let's do another pink one. And then I'm going to finish with these. I'll have to get some Yupo and um, Vellum because she did it on Vellum too. So I'm going to finish that one, I, I hope. Do the pink one and then we're going to do some embossing. So I want to finish this one. Hi, Travis. All right. What's this? I'll try this one. All right. So this one is raspberry. Watermelon, Sunset Orange, Wild Plum, and Lemonade. It just doesn't have enough in those spots.
All right, we'll get some mermaid. Could have used a little bit of something else, purple or something. More of this. Oops, more of this one. There we go. It'll make a good mermaid's tail anyway. And this is all done, so I can get rid of this. <laughs> That's like me with the stickles. Did you see all that bag of stickles I had? Oh my gosh. You girls in Maryland better love stickles. And then I found another little bag today. It's like, oh my gosh. But see, I had it because when I went to, um, every time I had the ranger sale, it was nothing to throw it in because it was weighed by the pound. So you threw in, you know, 10 or 12, whatever. All right. So we got that. All right. So let's see what we have for card. This is kind of good for the ocean. I think I'll use this one for the ocean. We'll use this for the tails. That's for the tails. This one might be, I don't know if that one's good for ocean or not. We'll see. We'll use this for tail. And this one, probably not. We'll see. <laughs> do not forget, do not forget what? On Chrome, that's what I use. I use Chrome. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to, let's do this one. So these we're going to use our backgrounds. I think this one, I might be able to use this one if I cut that off. We'll use three. All right, let's do the mermaid tail on this. So I am going to use my Versamark. This is a Versamark. I'm going to stamp this on here. I hope it's juicy enough. I didn't even try it. I'll stamp it on this part. I want to try to get at least two or three of these in here. <laughs> what happened? filter and I think I'm just gonna use my liquid pearls find me my perfect pearls so let's do um, probably the gold on this. you don't need a lot so you just need just a little bit you see that why don't we bring in a little hold on So you can see there, there's the tail of that one. So we'll stamp another one on here. We'll use a different color. Maybe the, I didn't have too many colors. Of course, I couldn't find my perfect pearls. <laughs> Maybe we'll use purple. All right, let's do another one. Uh, 
this one is, what color is this? Forest Violet. Oh, that's nice and dark. Didn't emboss the bottom part here too well. But we'll see what happens when we cut them out. See that? You see? There we are. And then maybe I can just get a tail part out of here. Let's just do that. Out of that one piece. Try the boy. Um, let's do the purple. One. So we have that. Can you see that now? There we are. Hi, Travis. <laughs> Thank you. Now, if I had the die, we could go ahead and put the die on there. Oops. But I um I don't have it. I'll have to cut it out. <laughs> Hi, Kathy. All right. So let's do um one of these red ones. Let's do this one. So I think that one I'm gonna do in. Let's try the white. Thanks, Judy. I'm going to stamp this one here. I'll do this one in the white. It should show up a lot better. See that? You can see that one there in the white. Oh, okay, CB. Sorry. Well, I see you in two days, three days. <laughs> Um, all right, so let's do another one, and then maybe this one we'll do in, maybe we'll do that one in the blue, we'll see what that looks like. Aw, I get to see her on Tuesday, though, so Monday if she's coming. Oh, she's coming Tuesday. That's just in the blue. All I like the blue one, I think, the best. Can you see the blue? All right, so we'll do, we're going to do another blue one. That one's really cute. I like that one. You can see that. Yes, I'm recording. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. So let's do that again, and then we'll try it on one of the blue ones also. Oh, don't 
say that, Jane? <laughs> I don't know why that is. I just, I don't have a clue, clue why that is. Oh, it's not this Monday. Sorry. Yeah, it's another week from now. I'm thinking about, <laughs> I'm thinking that I'm already going down there. <laughs> Sorry, no, another week from now I'll be in Maryland for the art retreat. So there you can see that one, the blue one, right there. Looks really good on the um, on the red part. Can you see that right there, the red? All right. Let's do. What do we have? One, two, three. I'll do one more on this side. All right. Let's all work on that being a set that somehow. Oh, I have the wrong settings. Well, how would I fix that? Thanks, Allie. Let's see, where am I here? Hmm. I just had to add blocker on there, so I don't know. Um, I don't know what it could be. Let's try this red one. Oh, I'm not open. Ooh, that one's pretty too. You see that one? See that one? Dark girl, nice and dark that is. No, oh, you stream settings. Hmm, I'll have to check into it. All right, let's do one more of the blue. How many do we have? We only have two of the blue. And then because these are perfect pearls, you need to just like spritz them with a little bit of water just so that they don't uh, rub off. We'll do that in a second. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what my problem is. Well, this red one is really nice, isn't it? You see that? That one came out really nice. You see that one there? Let's do one more, maybe in this purple. I don't know, I'll have to go into my settings then and see what it is on Ustream, because I don't know what it is. All right, we'll do one more of these. I do have some embossing powder too. Maybe we can emboss one. Oh, thanks, Joan. It should scroll. I can't remember the last time I used my Perfect Pearls. It's been a long time. All right. And there's the purple one. You see that one? Those came out really nice. 
All right, so I'm going to spritz them just with a little bit of water just to set them this way. Hmm. Right, do I have any water in here? No. So I'm going to just spritz these so that they uh, will set. So you can see just a little bit of water. Thanks, Judy. This one didn't come out too good. So let me cut down these cards, and we need to cut these down, um, let's see, So we need to cut these down to four and a half by six. Four and a half by six. Are you still back at work? Sanch? All right, so this one will be like an ocean. See, this look kind of looks like a wave, kind of. <laughs> Four and a half by six. So what is this, five? So we need a half on each side. Down to a quarter first. One. What do we have in this one? These two, maybe? Let's see how this is. Four and a half. Kind of like the darker darker one, don't you? Thanks, Eileen. That one, looked, that one looks pretty cool. Like the ocean -y. Can you see all the silver in there? It's two. Let's do another one. So this will be four and a half. that like an ocean, like ocean waves. All right, so we have three, and let's do this other one. Four and a 
So yeah, this is more like hers was. See how it like it like spills over? Hers was more like this. Alright, I'm gonna cut this. And I like this one too, even kind of more oceany. Let's try this one. Might even cut that one smaller. We'll see. All right, so we have that. So time is at 8.23. All right, now the boring part. We have to cut these out. <laughs> Sorry to say. <laughs> so let's see. I'm going to cut um, this one. What do I like? I like this one. I'll cut these. I'm going to cut this. Scissors. nice to have the die, but it doesn't really take that long to hand cut them. What are you cutting out for? Because I'm going to put them on top of the card. So they're going to go on top of this card like this. It comes with a die, but um, they were already sold out of the die. Save some of those pieces. That'd be cute for circles. See, they're going to go on here like this. I'm ignoring you what Eileen. If you have any left eye cut cut some butterflies out and ink the paper for inch. Okay. <laughs> I will. whole box and is just filled with butterflies. I wish it could open up and just all the butterflies would fly out. But it's just all um, different things with butterflies. Okay, so there's that. Yeah, whatever you don't like or you don't want to use, just give it away or just throw it away. <laughs> I'm going to try to save all the butterfly things I had for you. <laughs> Oh, 
and see it's still even um not even that comes off see that <laughs> She loves butterflies. <laughs> Why don't you want? Well, I don't know. Some things you might not use. Like, I think I put some uh, butterfly ribbon in there. I don't know if you use a ribbon. I forget what else is in there. Like, there's some bling, butterfly bling. It's gonna fly exactly. <laughs> it'll be like everybody be giving her butterflies, and it'll be like, okay, enough butterflies. go <laughs> yeah butterfly bling yep I think I don't know if I might really put some butterfly brads in there maybe I don't know it's a whole bunch of stuff butterflies <laughs> all right so we have that should we cut out one more I want to cut this one tail out Right, exactly. Like me and mermaids and just like butterflies. <laughs> I can put her in a cocoon. <laughs> you might only use some of these too. Oh, it's still wet. So I wonder if it would have been much better on the Upo compared to this glossy paper. It didn't work as well on here. There we go. <laughs> my flowers and my stickles. Oh my gosh, it's like I can't get over how many stickles I had really. If you didn't see my Instagram, <laughs> it was really a lot. <laughs> yeah, I like fairies too. But I, I do more mermaids, but um, I like fairies too. I haven't done fairies in a, in a long time. Oh, don't you should stop by. Take those back. I will send you stick. I did send you stickles. <laughs> don't open them and take them back. If you need more stickles, tell me because I have plenty. <laughs> plenty, and I'm going to be giving them out in Maryland. So, all right. So, let's see what we have here. So, we have this for the ocean. Can you see? It's hard to see with this metallic like that. And take those back. I will send you like a whole bunch. So then there's this one. Oh, I like this one on here. Can you see that one? And then there was one where she did like three or four. So let's see what else do we have here. Let's try this one. 
we did this and then put the tails at the edge here. Let's try to see. We did one like that. <laughs> you already did? <laughs> ah. <laughs> yeah, I would like to do that, Eileen. That would be great. <laughs> All right. I think maybe I'll use it on one of these. And it has a whole bunch of saying. Let me wipe this off. He's head. What? <laughs> the one on the right has ETs. <laughs> ETs. This? <laughs> You are not a drop in the ocean. You are the entire ocean in a drop. Seize the day. Go with the flow. If you need me, call me on my cell shell phone. <laughs> Want to be where the people aren't. I'm done adulting. Let's be mermaids. Mermaids don't have <laughs> mermaids don't have thigh gaps. I like that one. <laughs> All right, just keep swimming. So what should we do? Let's see. Um, maybe more people aren't now. Let's do that one. I'm um, done with salting. Let's be mermaids. <laughs> so we'll emboss these on here. So I think I'm going to do that up here. Do one there. We'll do one there. Do it on these two. Hopefully that worked. I hope I didn't move it. Got that one. Here's my little, what do you call it, coffee filter? I've got some, let's see, what is this one? Black powder. We have that. <laughs> now what happened? <laughs> All right. That one didn't come out too good, but All right, keep going.
didn't come out that great, but. Better. Oh my gosh, <laughs> what a tag. <laughs> Do work on these two. Just clean this off. So I've got some of this seaweed from that seaweed punch. So we can add some of this. So it needs to break one, I think. You can see that? Do that. So there's that one. <laughs> Let's ink this and then I'm going to put it on a wobble as well. a new one so it should be fine. What is that? <laughs> All right, so I got that. I want to link this as well. I have no idea what they're talking about. wobbles. I think this one's too big. So I've got some of these tiny ones. These are from Hampton Arts. They're called Action Wobbles. You can see that. These are so cute. I really like these. up and which one's down now. Alright, so we're going to put this one down. So then you can see it's, it wobbles. <laughs> I like the little ones because they also, if you can see it, they have a little bit like a bigger gap for the wobbling. Hey, Grammy. Hi, everyone. I missed. All right, so we got that. We're going to put a couple of these on here. 
I needed to do that a little bit better, but. There's our first little card. Can you see it there? Thank you. <laughs> right, so that's the first one. So let's do the next one. The next one we should do with, let's see, what do we do? The dark blue, the purplish. Maybe that one. And then, didn't we have the little ones? Maybe I'll do that, like that. We'll stick that one in there. Thanks, Bunny. You really are cute. I like that you just do the mermaid tail. You don't have to do the whole mermaid. All right, so I'll do this one, the red one, or the blue one. Maybe the red one. All right, with the blue. Let's see. That one show. Oh, this one shows up a lot better. So do that one. Thanks, Rebecca. <laughs> Making cards. Hi, Jamie. <laughs> yeah, we were playing with the um, alcohol inks. I needed Yupo paper, but I only had um, glossy paper. So, the background doesn't, it's supposed to be more like waves in the background, but it didn't come out quite that well. All right. We'll put this one on a wobble. We'll stick this one down. Hey, Karen. <laughs> So then this one will wobble too. See it? We can see that one. It's all right. So that's two. Then we'll use one on this card. Let's see. I've got the blue. I got this pink one. I don't like that one on there. That one? No. I like this blue green one. Maybe we'll just put a couple of them on here. Let's see. We'll do them like that. I won't have any one of these waffles. I'm just going to glue this one straight down. Look how pretty that is in the blue. Just the solid blue. That one's pretty, isn't it? Oh my gosh, I could use that. Let's see if I can. So instead of using this side, I think I'm going to use this side. Any of the other ones turn out like that? Ooh, look at that. And then we can put a sentiment up there. So I have ad blocker. Yes. A wobble tail. Yeah, that's what this one is. <laughs> you see it? <laughs> yes, I see you now, Jamie. Yep. This one looks on this dark blue. No, it's too dark. I'll put it on there. 
that, and I think I'm going to put this one there. All right, so I'm just going to glue this one down, straight down. I'll have to check it out. I'll check it out for Wednesday. You forgot to disable one. <laughs> You have a wobble tail too. <laughs> and this one I'm going to leave the, the tail sticking up. I should have left this one on this too. So it'll go up like that. See? I'll put these on here. I have to put like a little seashell or something. This one coming up from here. So like that. There we go. <sighs> oh no. What happened, Karen? And then I'll do this one with stickles, I think. by cutting machine. There you go. So there we go. There's that one. And then I'll put the sentiment up there. What should we put? Well, let's see. Put on a piece of paper. No grit, no pain, making wave. How about just keep swimming? Just keep swimming. We'll do that one. Right, practice makes perfect. All right, so maybe I can put that on a piece of this. Do this, maybe. Maybe on this one, the silver part. So, I'm looking for some other little pieces I might have that I can do. this one. This one will be good. Just playing. Okay. Do that with the black again. Maybe I can do it with the white. Let's see, I have some white here. Let's see what this one's like. Another big shot too. Yeah, I love my. I use my big shot and I use my vagabond. All right, he gun. Paula. I 
do that there. So I'll cut that here. We'll have to try this again with the UPO when I get it, because um, I really like the way the waves um, were on that one. Let's put this one down here. All right, clean this up. We'll get rid of this. Eat this. <laughs> it doesn't take that long. Although I don't use my silhouette as much as I use my Vagabond, that's for sure. Alright, clean this up. We didn't do one with the red tail, right? Let's do one with the red tail. <clears throat> So we did those. Oh, yeah, we did one with the red tail. We did those three. <clears throat> one, two, three. And I'm going to do one more. <clears throat> I even cut out some extras. I forgot about these over here. earlier. Just did the tails. She did one where she just did the tails too. Put one in the middle. Do like that? Eh, I don't know. Oh, I forgot to put the deck on that one. Where is it? Dark ones look, uh, make a nice shadow under the lighter ones sticking out. Yes. All right. So it's 9 o'clock. I want to do my giveaways because I still have to pack. <laughs> so why don't we do that? Let me clean this up. some extra ones for next time. So this was the only other one I didn't cut up was this one. You see that one? Pink. And then we did everything else. All these are blank so we can work on those next time. And 
This is a new punch. Um, I think it's EK Success came out with a new punch. They have quite a couple of new ones. I got that one at Hobby Hobby. Yes, we're doing a giveaway. Yep. So, we did these three cards, and they came out cute. Let's do that in there. Let's do that there. So, if you've been to, let me put these away before I lose these. Done my giveaways before. I always, um, it's always one winner. Um, the person who gets closest without going over. And the first person who gets the number. And then, um, what else? Uh, I usually, you'll see in the chat, I'll put in ready, set, and then when you see the word go, that's when you're going to put your number in. Uh, let's see, any of my phone. Where's the stamps? Thanks, Judy. Thanks. We are giving away the stamps I showed at the beginning. So let me put those away here. So these are our cards. So these are the stamps. So let's see. This is floor. So this will be floor number one. This is number two, and this is number three. So let me put that on there. So I'll do like this. One, two, and I only pull um, the numbers. <clears throat> you only have to guess once because then I just pull the three numbers right from the very first list. Uh, I need a pen. <clears throat> All right, so this is number one, number one, number two, and I always let everyone pick what they what they want. Let me bring you in a little bit closer so you can see which one you want. There we go. <clears throat> if we're giving away stickles, I'm in. I have plenty of stickles. <laughs> um, let's just say this. Uh, if you're, uh, if you want stickles, just PM me. That's what I'm going to say. PM me, PM me at, um, Scraps Beauty at AOL or, um, on Twitter. So if you want stickles before I go to Maryland, just PM me and I will send them to you. If you're really going to use them, not just to have them like I did. <laughs> All right. We need my phone. <coughs> Yes, Ange, you could do it. I didn't have that in your box. Ew, look at that. Ew. How am I going to get that off? <laughs> All right, so let's see. <clears throat> I get to uh, Google.com. Hold on. Uh, I mean Google. <laughs> Random.org. <laughs> so it's 1 to 100. No, you don't put your number in yet. <laughs> So, 1 to 100. I type in the chat. No, 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 no. Stop, stop. You'll see me type in the chat. All right. Ready. You'll see the word ready first. Then you'll see the word set. When you see the word go, that's when you put your number in. <laughs> so, I'm going to give you a few minutes because people are putting their numbers in already. <laughs> so, stop, stop, stop. Not yet. <laughs> got to see this. So remember, 1 to 100, the person who gets the closest without going over, the first person to get the number will get it. So, um, so you're going to see this. Ready, then you'll see set. When you see the word go in the chat, then you're going to um, put your number in. All right? All right. So let's see. So, and hopefully the chat shouldn't be too long because I'm like right by the modem. So, hopefully, Joan, pick another number. <laughs> Lynn already has 45. <laughs> you can hear, but go ahead, put your thing in, Monique. <laughs> Chat is ahead of the video. <laughs> really? <laughs> Put another number in, Joan. So Lynn will have 45. 
There you go. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm going to give it a, another 30 seconds. The lag's really bad. Really? Oh, my gosh. I don't like so bad. Everybody got their number in? <laughs> the lag is funny. I don't know about that. Just came back in. Put a number in. Quick, Tammy. Put a number in. Hurry! <laughs> Last call for your number. I'm waiting for Tammy. As soon as Tammy puts her number in, I'm going to stop it. Put a number in, Tammy. Wait on Tammy. <laughs> really? Your chat's ahead of the stream? It's so weird. Usually it's like way behind. <laughs> Wait for Tammy. You did? Okay. <laughs> All right, there we go. All right, so I'm going to pick the three numbers, and then we'll go back to the chat. So don't put anything in the chat now. <laughs> All right, so you ready? So the first number is, first number is 10. All right, and then the next one is 80. And then the next one is 88. Oh my gosh, I hate when it does that. All right, so let me get back now and see who we can. Somebody double check with me who we have here. All right, so 10. Linda got it right on the button. Linda Scott. So you pick, you'll be picking first, Linda Scott. And then the ones for 80 and 88. So let's see. 80. Let's see. Judy's with 62. 88. Lori got 88 right on the button. Lori M. And then who's closest to 80 that didn't go over? Like, anybody pick 70-something? <laughs> uh, let's see. Hold on. Uh, I need one more person. So. 80. I need somebody. Oh, there. Rooster Girls got 77. Anybody else got higher than 77? Yep, Rooster Girl, that's what I said. Okay, Rooster Girl. All right, so Linda, Linda Scott gets to pick first. Linda Scott wants number three, so this is Linda. And then um, Rooster Girl, pick what do you want, number two or number one. So Rooster, not. Yeah, Rooster Girl 77. So pick, do you want number one or number two? So Linda picked this one already, so you can get to pick this one. Yep, she got the number three. Linda's got number three. So Rooster Girl, which one did you want? And then don't forget to PM me um, at Scraps to Beauty. Beauty, oops. <laughs> at AOL. Where's Rooster Girl? Oh, can't believe it. Number two. Okay, so this is Rooster Girl. And then, Lori, you'll get this one. So make sure you um, write to me, scraps to beauty at AOL.com. All right, so number two. Got you. I got you for number two. I got Linda there. So, oh, poor Ange. <laughs> You're still getting happy mail anyway. All right, so remember Wednesday, probably more like 8 o'clock, because I'll just be getting back from Maryland. So you're welcome. <laughs> and then um, probably no stream. I'll just go over what I did in Finn's class. And, uh, <laughs> oh, poor Ange. 
Uh, so, so Jennifer, did you see what I said about the um, black watercolor paper? This is what we said on Amazon. We thought it was black watercolor paper, but it just has a black border around. It's white on the inside. So that was kind of depressing. <laughs> oh, you're welcome, Judy. <laughs> that was very depressing. <laughs> All right, so thanks, Eileen. All right. All right, so I will get these out tomorrow. If you if you get me the address tonight, um, I will get them out tomorrow before I leave for Maryland. If not, it will have to be Thursday when I get back. So you're welcome. Thanks, Lynn. Thanks, Lynn, too, because it's because of the postage she sent that you guys are getting happy mail. So thanks, Lynn. Uh, what is the back paper? Does it? No. Remember we said we were looking for black watercolor paper, and we went to Amazon, and we went and checked off the black watercolor paper. So this is supposed to be black watercolor paper. It's not. When you open it up, <clears throat> it's white watercolor paper. It just has a black edge. See that? It's got the black edge. So there is no black watercolor paper. So that was really depressing. <laughs> you missed my address. Scraps to Beauty at AOL. Scraps to Beauty at AOL.com. There you go. No, it's just a cover page. That's all it is. It just it was to cover the white page. Nope. <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah, that was disappointing. What can you do, though? <laughs> all right, so I'm going to say good night. Um, I'm going to get some U-Book paper. I'm going to try this again. Because <laughs> I really want this to look more like waves. It really doesn't look like waves. <laughs> so, so we'll see. All right, Dorothy, thanks. <laughs> Got it now. Okay, good. All right, so have a good week, and I will see you back here Wednesday. All right. All right good night. Thanks for coming. Bye.